There are some saints who come down to us with complete biographies. We know a great deal of the life and work, for instance, of St. Francis of Assisi. We know it from his own writings and from contemporary sources. From the pages of the Bible, we can actually experience the life, work and journeys of St. Paul. But today, we celebrate two apostles of Jesus, Simon and Jude, whose life stories are virtually unknown to us. Scholars are even not too sure whether, whether the epistle attributed to St. Jude is actually by him or not. So Simon and Jude are virtually anonymous. In our Gospel reading today, St. John tells his followers that life will not be easy for them. There will be misunderstanding. There will even be hatred until people see their sinfulness and the sinfulness which pervades the human state, which should then lead to repentance and to change. Jesus goes on to say, when the Advocate comes, who I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. Jesus is saying to his followers that the Holy Spirit will speak out on Jesus' behalf. But the passage goes on. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. Those first followers of Jesus, ordinary men and women, including the anonymous Simon and Jude, were to be witnesses to the truth and they were charged to speak out, to testify. Today, we rejoice that once again we are able to worship in an open cathedral. It stands at the heart of this city as a sign of God's presence, a presence which has power to save and power to transform. A building has stood on this site for well over a thousand years, testifying to that truth. Our first reading, though, points to another temple. St. Paul, writing to the church in Ephesus, says, You are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, members of a household or a family with Jesus himself as the cornerstone. And the passage goes on, in him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple, and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together into a dwelling place for God. The alarming truth here is that God calls us to be his temple, the place where he chooses to live or dwell. From this temple of skin and bones, of frailty and of weakness, we are called out to be witnesses to testify, to speak out. Like Simon and Jude, many of us will be anonymous, but like them, our voices need to be heard. Because of their testimony, we are here in this cathedral today. Without their voice, the good news of the gospel would not have reached us. Over the centuries, this cathedral has housed within its walls that proclamation of truth in many ways. In the last century and in this, world leaders have debated under this very dome the issues facing humankind, 
and will continue to do so as the St Paul's Institute and the Cathedral itself carry out the work of engagement. This is all part of that imperative to speak the truths of the Gospel. The two temples, those built of human flesh and those built of stone, both have their distinctive part to play in addressing the urgent issues of our own times. Simon and Jude, in their anonymity, give us all courage to play our part in building that kingdom of justice, righteousness and peace, to which we are called to be citizens. Our task as the people of God is to strive to keep the two distinctive temples thriving. Amen.